extension called Visual Studio IntelliCode. Uh, it's available in Visual Studio Code. You can go into extension um, panel. You can find that name Visual Studio IntelliCode. You can install that uh, right from you. You see that button, install button, and all you need to do is to click on that. Right, and you install the, the extension. Let's talk a little bit about what this uh, Visual Studio uh, IntelliCode, what does it do? Okay, now I'm going to show you an example uh, using a Django models uh, example. And we'll start off by looking at the CSV. So I have a, a CSV file in here. I have a few columns. I have symbol, current price, date, time, change, open, high, low. So uh, say if I have to create a database um, model based on this CSV, so I want to be able to uh, take whatever that is in the CSV and actually have them as separate columns in my database I'm I want to create this uh, using the Django's model framework. So what would I do now? The first thing I'll do is that I will have to create um, each of this column as um, Let me let me just put it down as, as we write okay, so for example the first one is symbol So I'm gonna have to try and create symbol and here I could use the models and now What is the most likely fill for symbol? What do you think? Well, there will be character fill. There'll be a character fill because it would it'd be RTRX, it'd be Facebook, uh, FB, uh, One Oak, OKE, Disney, DIS. So that's a character fill. And you want to see how Wish Studio IntelliCode actually sort of predict, uh, predicted that, right? So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not like your IntelliSense, it's not like um, any other IntelliSense feature that you see. Um, it's actually they they call, on the website they call it an AI assisted development and what it does is that it says it saves you time by putting what you're most likely to use um it floats it right to the top of the completion list so in this case here character field is most likely what I want and it floats it right on the top of the list right and so it it makes recommendations and how how does it do that how does it know that you know when I when I put symbols what why does it suggest character field and later on as we add more of them you'll see that it it does different things based on well, you know what we have here but how does it do that. So again, on its website, right? On its website, it says that what IntelliCode does is that it recommends based on, uh, it, it looks at, it scans thousands of open source projects on GitHub, um, each with open, each with more than a uh, hundred stars, and then it combine those uh, open source projects. It look in, it look at the code of all of those, and then it combine them with the context of our code, and and then it tailors the completion list to sort of promote uh, common practices, right? That's what it does. So let's let's actually put character fill in here, and that's look at a few more example um, I'm gonna say max length I'm gonna say five because uh, symbol stock symbol could be one to five you can see and five are usually for those index font you, you see those indexes um, talk a little bit more about that in the next video but but this is a uh, it says that while well, the 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 field itself it would capture any value in, in the database itself the expect a value of between one to five max length is five okay and let's take a look at a few others now the next one is current price so let's actually go ahead and do that current price Okay, and again, it's going to be a models. Uh, now, it again says character field. This is wrong, but let's go ahead anyway and say decimal field, right? Um, let's. There is the next one, the the third column. That's date. Let's do that date. So models. See, it suggested date time field and date field, right? That's pretty good, right? It looks at date. It says what well, you know that makes sense. Date time field. Um, in this case, I want a date field. We don't. We're not gonna set any default or anything like that yet. I just want to show you how this, uh, you know, this IntelliCode, uh, the IntelliCode feature works. Um, there is time, so we can also do time, right? And again, here it says time field. That's pretty good. That's what we want. Okay. Um, we have change, and again, I'm just working through all of these different uh, columns, if you will, like symbol, current date, time, change, and so far it's done pretty amazingly for all of them, right? Let's go models and. Uh, change is not actually a time field. What it is is actually a decimal field. Okay, and let let's let's keep a hit and let's take a look at some others. Let's take a look. Let's say purchase price models dot. Uh, again, it says decimal field. That that makes sense. That's what we want as well. Um, and you can imagine I can do the same for like trade date and and all of those. But that's pretty amazing if you ask me. Right, it does all of this. Um. I'm not gonna try to do all of them to save you time. In fact, this is where I'm probably gonna end the video. But I just want to show you, and um, you can go ahead and grab it by going to extension in Visual Studio Code, search for Visual Studio IntelliCode. So search for IntelliCode. Um, and that's the first one. I don't have an install button because I've already done that. But you should have. You should find that it's from Microsoft. Just install it. Uh, restart and then restart Visual Studio Code and you should get that.